What's up, YouTubers? My name is Everide. Every single Monday for the next several weeks, I'll be releasing good videos and a playlist about the top 15 tips to grow your YouTube audience, which means increase subscribers, gain views, all that good stuff. Now, as you can tell by now, this video is a moto vlog, which is a video log or vlog done while riding a motorcycle. However, the information provided in this playlist series can be used by pretty much any YouTuber to grow their audience and find success on YouTube, whether that means a monthly paycheck or a bit of fame or just an awesome community to share your hobby with. Sheesh. <laughs> First, let me tell you how this is going to work. Most of you guys probably do most of this stuff already, so instead of sitting through one gigantic, you know, Tom Bombadil extended Lord of the Rings director's cut massive video where you have to continually scrub through things you already know how to do, I've broken it up into videos uh, into a series of playlists so you can skip to the parts that you might want help with or have questions about, and you can skip all the stuff that you don't need. So like I said, videos in this series will be released every Monday, so you're going to want to subscribe and tune in every Monday at 10 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time. And if you dig what I do and you enjoy the scenery and motorcycling around Southern Utah, then stick around for my regular goodies that I release each Thursday. For those of you future people who see this video well after its release, well, then you get the benefit of being able to watch every video in the playlist which can be found by clicking on my channel here. Well, as for me, at the time this was filmed and recorded, I was hovering right around 6,000 subscribers. Now that's not a ton, but it is enough to get paid by YouTube monthly, and I thought I'd share what I'd learned about this whole YouTubing experience so far. Um, you need to know I haven't consistently followed the tips that I'm about to share with you. That's pretty much because I didn't know about most of them until I started to do a little bit of research. Um, so just like you, I wanted to grow my channel. So I've read tons of blogs, I've watched probably hundreds of videos, I've read books, I've studied <laughs> research articles, um, I even took classes on web marketing and digital media and uh, audience development while I was in college. So as of January 2014, I have a little less than 6,000 subscribers. So we'll see how well these tips work as time goes on by looking at my channel size in the future. Last year at this time, by doing just a few of these tips, my channel grew from 800 to nearly 6,000 subscribers. So that means in one year, my channel grew by seven and a half times. Uh, if I can get that kind of growth this year, I'll have 45,000 subscribers this time in 2015, which would be incredible. So by using these tips, I am confident that I can continue that growth. Uh, so you might be thinking, as a fellow YouTuber interested in growing a channel, you know, why is this guy telling me all this stuff? Aren't we competing for views? And the answer to that is... sort of. Not really. You see, uh, motovlogging and most genres are relatively new gen uh, genres. So maybe you've got a new genre of your own that you're developing or a part of. Maybe you've got something new to bring, bring to an old genre. Now, whatever the case may be, we're not competing. So if you're also a motor vlogger, then we're in this together. Now, if we grow the genre and expand the audience, all motor vloggers can grow larger together. Nobody creates videos in a vacuum. And the quicker you start working with other YouTubers in collaborations and audience sharing, the faster you will grow. And the more friends you'll make and the more fun you'll have too. Uh, we're seriously all partners in this. Even though individual videos may compete at times, that's okay. Uh, competition in that way brings out the best in what we create, brings about the best videos. And I'll talk about that in a later video in the playlist. But uh, if you've ever seen my early stuff, you know that it's pretty much garbage. Um, I've struggled through for a long time. And I've had some hard knocks as a YouTuber, getting Google slaps and losing grips of subscribers and having content that's kind of all over the place and unorganized and so some people come in expecting one thing when they get another and so they leave and other people are getting geography videos and it's kind of a mess. So you know even though I'm not any kind of special hopefully these tips will help you stand out from the crowd of a pretty saturated genre. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not making these videos or these tips to say that I have it all figured out. Uh, I made it because I've done a lot of research and I've screwed up so many times that I know what not to do. So, you know, I would say that I have a modest amount of subscribers right now. I'm definitely not any kind of viral or a big deal at all. But I do enjoy the size of my audience and I'd like to keep on growing. Uh, just as long as I can maintain some of that great, uh, you know, the great communication and relationships that form inside the community. So, as you know, everybody says it, in a big huge ocean like YouTube, our content is buried by thousands of videos a second. We're just grains of sand. And even in a very small pond like the moto vlogging community, and even on a modestly sized site like MotorcycleVideo.org, our content could be lost really easily in the fray. And there's absolutely nothing more frustrating than putting a ton of hard work into a video just to have it be buried by, you know, not necessarily bad videos, but just a ton of other videos. And they're all competing for viewers' attention. So this series will hopefully help you to get people to watch your videos, entertain them during your videos, and then have them stick around to watch more of your videos by subscribing and uh, following. So whether you're looking... Uh, again, for increased AdSense or YouTube fame, or you just want to connect with other people uh, that share your hobby, this will work for you. So, anyway, this series is divided into several parts. And if there are, are things that cost money that are involved, remember, I always go the cheapest route that I can. And as always, I can't cover every single aspect in every single video, and things are always changing. So if you have any questions about spe uh, any specific thing, please just ask me in the comments. So, now, on to what you can expect from the upcoming series, okay? Uh, these are the 15 videos that I'll be releasing. They'll be amazing, okay? Part one is about camera work. Composition, camera position, resolution, storage, software, how do you get your camera not to shake so much? Um, all kinds of questions that I get asked all the time. And just some observations that I've made. Uh, now, if you're in a different genre than motovlogging or action sports, then you know you're not going to be using a GoPro or a or a drift or you know anything like that. We use wide-angle cameras and things like that, so it's it's quite different. However, the tips can still be uh, used and applied. The second topic, part two, will cover audio. This includes mics to use, tips on audio content, cleaning up your audio, music selection, copyrighted content, and royalty-free resources. Where to find? music that you can use for free on your videos. And it also involves monetization, uh, whether you can use those for to make money by advertising on YouTube. Now the third topic is about content quality. So we're talking about upload schedule and how that impacts the quality of your videos and the longevity of your audience. We'll talk about the length of your videos, organization, YouTube penalties and analytics. Uh, we'll even talk a little bit about storyboarding and scripting your content to make it just a little bit more professional. Because even though having stuff, you know, just kind of off the cuff is great, it is good to have a specific topic to talk about. Otherwise, you're going to just be one of those random tubers that doesn't really contribute anything. They just talk. Um, topic number four covers an upload schedule that builds predictability in your channel. Uh, naturally make your subscribers hungry for more you know, when name brand YouTubers are asked what the biggest difference was for their channel growth, almost all of them will tell you that it's an upload schedule. And I'll explain why in tip number four. So tip number five includes audio retention. Whether that's through just one video to lower your dropout rate or long-term subscriber viewership. If you look at your views and notice that all of your viewers are dropping out within the first minute, and you probably want to stick around for this. Uh, there are a few simple things that you can do beyond creating great content that will definitely help keep those people watching your video and focused on your content only. In tip number six, I'll give you advice on how to create eye-grabbing titles and video thumbnails. Now, they say that you don't judge a book by its cover, but that's such a lie. I mean, you never read any books unless the cover interests you or unless you hear about it from somebody else. And the same exact thing goes for videos, especially when you're competing with, you know, the sidebar with, you know, fail compilations and boobs and viral videos that lurk around at every moment to snatch your viewer's interest. 
um, it's so important to keep people engaged and there's a couple of tips that just make it really easy to keep them on your video unless your video is terrible so if your content's good they're gonna stay um, number seven deals with intros and outros or some people call them end cards now, these are little touches that can make you look like professional or make you look like a total noob and should you even be using an intro anyway um, think about it are you wasting your subscribers time they have to see this thing every time they click on a video are they scrubbing through it or are you actually providing value and giving them something that they want every time they click on your video and are you you know is it is it engaging to new viewers as well does it make you look professional tip number eight will show you how to use keywords to help you get organic views to help your channel grow now in the beginning you're not going to have a huge network to help your channel grow you're not going to have all these friends who can shout you out so you're going to have to rely on search terms for a while to grow your own audience and I'll talk about finding and focusing on a target audience with keywords and very focused content and how to keep them coming back over time. So, as many have said, the YouTube community is always growing and the motive, the motive vlogging community is also growing too. <coughs> but you'll need to break the mold and offer something different if you're gonna stand out because it is growing and it is getting bigger and there are subscribers out there for you, but if you don't stand out, they'll find somebody else. <coughs> Tip number 10 is all about self-promotion across the web. Uh, when it comes to growing your channel, marketing outside of YouTube can go a long way in growing your audience. But there's a big, huge caveat. Um, is it going to help or harm your channel? Now, a few well-placed plugs can spell success, but too many and you start to get hate and trolls and people just really don't appreciate the spam, I can tell you that. So what is that line between you know, informing people of your videos, of your content, and then spamming, right? Uh, you don't want to look like an advertiser. You don't want to make it look canned. Tip number 11 is all about shout-outs. And everybody thinks that shout-outs makes the world go round. Uh, I'll, talk to about, I'll talk about how to get them and what they're good for, and, but I'll also talk about how they can hurt you and how they can actually kind of potentially hurt the whole community. Um, it's kind of a pyramid scheme, the way shout-outs work. But uh, we'll talk about that tip number 11, okay? Tip number 12 will show you how to ride the coattails of other YouTubers to increase views without shout-outs. To increase views, subscribers, make your audience grow and in just about any niche by using video responses or video links uh, in other people's channels and, uh, and on their videos. Tip number 13 corresponds with giveaways. Are they worth your time and money to do? Do they really build your audience? Or are they just empty subscriptions? Uh, I was really looking hard into this. I was ready to put down some serious money to give away to my audience. And uh, then I realized it probably would have been a bunk investment. And there's a lot of reasons why. So stick around for that one. That one's huge. Now tip number 14 covers collaboration projects, okay? Dual comms or approaching other YouTubers about audience sharing. Now once again, we don't do this whole video creator thing in a vacuum. And if you're just starting out, you're going to want to start a network with other small, similar channels and even build a little, you know, friendship crew uh, as soon as you possibly can. And I'll explain why at tip 14. So finally, tip 15, the final video and the whole thing, it's going to teach you how to motivate and mobilize the audience you have whether it's a big, huge audience or whether it's, you know, 20 people to help you to grow even larger. And it's not, you know, audience manipulation or mooching off of your audience. It's your channel is, is shared with them. It's an ownership. They have some ownership in a creative project that they're a direct part of. Um, your audience is critical to, critical to your channel and they can really help or hurt uh, your your YouTube future. So anyway, enough of the introductory stuff. Tip one will be up next Monday. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully to see we'll see you back soon. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then uh, don't miss it on Monday. You know the order. You know which ones you're going to want to watch. So uh, hopefully we can start growing our channels and uh, you know just generally have a lot of fun on YouTube. That's what it's all about anyway. Thanks so much guys and uh, have a great day.